No magic in Disney shares this year. The stock is down over 40% and recently hit the lowest price since before the company released the Star Wars collection. The decline for the House of Mouse is where we find Sazi's take today. Saz. Yeah, I'll hit the high notes here. Our media reporter, Ali Canal, has been all over this Disney uh, story. I would encourage you to just go read her work. It's absolutely awesome. But yes, the stock is really starting to come under pressure here. First up, uh, as you noted, Brad, the stock is below the 2020 low. Uh, really not good. There am my uh, trademark uh, Mickey Mouse ears on there, probably holding an egg on my, uh, left, my left hand. Uh, the stock of Disney down 46% year to date. And interesting here, Brad, is that shares of Disney are down 8.3% since Bob Iger's return was announced as CEO on November 20th. Not what you, you initially got that pop, but the stock has been losing ground ever since. So here's why I think you're seeing some of these declines here. We'll run through them very quickly. First up, no easy fixes for Disney. Uh, the view, this view that initially caused that Bob Iger pop when he was announced that he would come in, fix everything overnight, and Disney would be back to reaccelerating earnings growth, that's just not reality. Disney's up against a lot of problems. Uh, number two, what does future leadership look like? Bob Iger uh, only signed on for two years. It's up to him to finally get the correct successor in place at this company. Three, what is the fate of ESPN? Uh, Ali was reporting, uh, or reported, I believe, last week, uh, some, some whispers on Wall Street of a potential ESPN spinoff. That was from uh, the team over at Wells Fargo. Interesting read there as well. Uh, next up, how will a recession impact the park's performance? Uh, the park's business really has funded everything Disney has been doing the past year and a half uh, in terms of streaming. But if there is a recession, best believe people are going to be pulling back and not spending thousands of dollars on a Disney vacation. Uh, and then speaking of streaming here, you have to think, when have streaming losses have peaked? Have they peaked just yet? I believe the company lost $1.5 billion in their streaming business in the last quarter. Really shocked the hell out of investors. Next up, no blockbuster hits this year. See Avatar, uh, certainly ringing up its fair share at the box office, but missing expectations, I would argue. The dividend uh, for Disney is still suspended. They suspended that during the pandemic. And how deep are the cost cuts uh, here, Brad? That has been all eyes here on what Iger, on how deep, on how deep he cuts in terms, uh, how deep he cuts on costs just to improve the company's bottom line. And speaking of Iger, my take here, it's time for some Iger magic out of the gate. Uh, uh, Bob Iger, of course. <laughs> That's of course, a good hat. Wow. Uh, of course, Bob Iger knows his business very, very well. I think he's been spending the past few uh, months since being announced really digging back into the business re-familiarizing himself. Uh, I believe he recently traveled to the ABC newsroom uh, on one bureau. And now, realistically, coming out of the gate next year, you're going to get more clarity on his plan. Uh, first uh, and foremost, how much uh, is he going to cut from this business in terms of cost? One, appreciated the Fantasia hat. Me too. Number two, I think with everything that you laid out, I mean, it's spot on. Obviously, the huge issues that we've seen for right now in, in terms of how they're forecasting and how they're modeling going into next year is everything that has to do with pricing, whether it's pricing for streaming, whether it's pricing for the parks and resorts experience and making sure that you're not churning any of those customers that have finally come back in to, to some of those folds, especially on the resort side, given the, the low... Well, Returning egg Where photo from our Calmain discussion. There it is. The, the, that is the true here. star of this show. Calmain, really big quarter for that company. But Brad, you know, it was an interesting study. Oh, God, come on, guys. It was an interesting study. I forgot who put it out. People are going into debt to go to Disney. I mean, no, you cannot go into you cannot put yourself ten thousand dollars plus in debt to go to Disney. I thought That's they horrible. had a timeshare uh, package or, or system set up. It all sounds all expensive it, to me. Yeah, all of it, all right. every single bit of it, even that egg. Well, the eggs are more expensive.